What's going on, guys? It's Real Thoughts GML here, back with another game maker tutorial. And that's gonna be my new intro from now on. Tell me what you guys think in the description. Uh, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start this tutorial right off the bat, just like normal. Uh, yeah. So what I've done is I went ahead and created four sprites, and this is pretty much how to change uh, the color of your sprites. And this can, this can also be for if you want your player looking left when you press the left. Uh, arrow key or right or you know whatever it can change into sprites looking left or right these are just colors but you know what I mean so yeah let's go ahead and begin so go ahead and create an object uh, there we go and in the create event what we're gonna do is we are going to set uh, the image index to equal zero and the image uh, speed to equal zero so now it won't be uh, you know going all over the place because if we did not have that then it would just cycle through all the images real fast like an animation we don't want that so we have to put the image speed to zero and the image index to zero means that it is on image zero right here if we set image index to one it would be on this one right here the red one so what we're going to do now is in the step event if keyboard check pressed VK space. Now this can be uh, like uh, the right arrow key, the left arrow key, you know, stuff like that. So um, VK space. So when we hit the space bar, what we're going to do is we're going to have image number to plus equal one. And uh, I forgot to set that in the create event here. So I'm just going to put image number equals zero. So in this step event, what we're going to do here is if image number equals equals one, then image, or I'm sorry, zero, image index equals zero. And now we can copy that and we'll paste this four more times, so, or three more times. So then we'll do two and three. Three, two, one. Since there's four images, we're gonna have four of these right here. Uh, so if it equals zero, which it will start off with in the beginning, it's gonna be blue. So and then as we press it, it's gonna keep going. So press, and now it's red. Now it's green. Now it's or now it's yellow. Now it's green. Uh, but if we keep pressing it, it doesn't. Uh, it just stops because there's. It'll go on to image four, and image five, and image six. So what we can do here is, I'm sure you're not going to have this problem when you're making the game. Uh, like you, you can just put like if keyboard check uh, VK right. You can just have image index equal you know say one, and then if keyboard check release VK right, you can set it back to the zero. But uh, if you're doing something like this where, where you want it to cycle through, maybe you're doing like a little character select screen and you want it to cycle through, then what you're going to do is if keyboard check pressed, VK space, and uh, image number is less than uh, 4. Yeah. And what we can do here is if image number e equals equals four and we're gonna set image number to equal zero so let's go ahead and see if that works yep so as you can see it loops right through and the reason that works and if you can uh, no that doesn't work uh, the reason why this works is you guys understand that when you put equals equals that means it's checking if you put equals that means it's going to set the value but if we put double equal signs uh, then that is going to uh, check if it is equal so if image number is equal to zero uh, etc so what we do up here is uh, we might not even need that but just to make sure we're just gonna put that in there image number is less than four so when it hits four it's automatically gonna go back to zero uh, where we started so 
that was my tutorial for today. Go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to my gaming channel. The link will be in the description for that. Uh, go ahead and give me some suggestions. I am still going on with that zombie series, and I'm going to be producing some more Java later in the future. So go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.